up through that um, visit you had at the tree farm. Um, at your father's residence, what, if anything, do you know about um, uh, drugs being produced there, made there somehow? Um, quite a bit. Okay. So uh, what drugs do you remember uh, being uh, produced there in some fashion? Uh, marijuana. Okay. Uh, any others? Um, not that was grown. Okay. Um, and um, as to marijuana, um, what, what do you know about what was happening at that residence, meaning your dad's residence, the defendant? Um, he was growing it. Where in the house was it being grown? Um, in between the kitchen and living room. Okay. On the, on the top level or on a bottom level, if you know? No, main, main floor. Okay. And what do you, briefly, what do you remember about the process that you saw? How was it being done? Um, <laughs> there were a lot of plants there, and... Do you, do, you have, do you believe you know how many? I do. How many? 72. Okay. And what do you remember about how they were being grown? Um, dad, my dad had a water system, and they were just in rows, and there was a place to dry them in the back, and... It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't anything like a little small operation. Okay. So uh, describe the water system. What do you remember about that? It was just like. Judge, I'm going to object as far as relevance into going all the minute details of the operation. Well, we are getting. Um... Keep in mind, uh, and it's been true throughout the trial. There are materials coming in that are not directly pertinent to the crimes charged in the information. And I've sustained objections to some of them. I also spoke with you earlier about um, some of the things that were let in that might ordinarily not have been let in, but for our uh, evidentiary rules I've permitted. Um, this, um, well, I'll leave it at that. Um, keep in mind that the defendant is not charged with anything related to a drug offense. And also, um, it's being permitted for legitimate reasons in the case, which I'm not going to go into right now. But you're not to allow it to convince you that he is a has a character trait or a bad character and that he acted with in conformity with that in respect to the offenses charged against him. It's 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 what's called it's admitted for limited purposes, limited admissibility, and uh, please don't draw any inferences about its character um, as a result of that. Any question about that? Thank you. But can you briefly describe what you meant by a water system? What do you remember? It was just it required a lot of building in the process. And it took up a lot of the time. Um, it just took a lot of time to build it and make everything work the way he wanted it to. And um, did um, you, uh, what if anything can you say about observing the defendant uh, tending the plants, busy tending the plants at times you were there? Yeah. Okay. And so what did you see him do that was tending the plants? Just trimming them, cutting, just like. Normal, like. Plant keeping, I guess, like if you were to grow marijuana, like it would just be like a normal.
plant process of growing them and like trimming them and stuff? And um, what, if anything, can you say about uh, uh, approximately when they were harvested, if you know? No. no, I really don't know. That was something that he definitely did on his own time. Okay, and um, what, if anything, do you know about whether uh, the, the, what, if anything, did the defendant say about how much of it he had sold? What was your understanding of how much had been the sold? The last time I talked to my dad, he, well, not necessarily talked to him. Um, it was probably a week before I actually last talked to him. He told me that he had gotten rid of it all, which then when they had went through the house, I found out was not true. Okay, so when he said he got rid of it all, what, what did what did that mean? Um, like he had sold everything that he had harvested from it. Okay, so uh, now I'm just going to show you a couple of quick pictures. Um, so the first picture is which? No, uh, marijuana. States Exhibit One. Okay, so again, that's States Exhibit One, number three hundred seven. It's going to show up on the TV screen. I'm just going to ask you if you recognize this. Uh, item from from uh, your father's home. Is that something familiar to you from your father's home? Um, can I ask what that is? I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Then I have no other question about that. So let me show you uh, now what's been marked as States Exhibit One, States Exhibit One, three hundred eight. So that is an item in a in a container. Do you recognize that? I know the mason jar is his, but I don't know what's inside of that jar. Was there something kept in the refrigerator that um, you were uh, that you were told about? I'm going to object. She's already said she doesn't know what it is. Well, well I, this is actually a separate question. Yeah. Was there something? I don't know what that is. Um, in the fridge, you were asking. Yep. Um, I don't know what they were used for necessarily. There were mushrooms of some sort in the door side in a opening somewhere where you would keep your butter, right? In the fridge where you would put your sticks of butter. That's where it was in his fridge. And were, were the mushrooms stored in jars of this type? I have no idea. Okay. I'm saying, I'm saying when you saw them in the fridge. No, they were in a bag. Very good. To me, that does not look like a mushroom. Okay. So. What does a mushroom look like that you saw at your dad's house? Um, they were... No object to relevance. Uh, I assume we're at the very end of yep, this. Yep, we are. Uh, very yeah, end. Okay. Uh, uh, you can try to answer the question if you like. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. They were just... They were like an off-white with some like brown of some sort and they were just really thin. I remember them being very thin, like almost miniature slim mushrooms. 